Changing the default remote desktop protocol port enhances security by making it harder for unauthorized users to find and attack your system. However, this should be combined with other measures like strong passwords and firewalls for optimal protection. Choose a new port number. Avoid common ports, use ports in the dynamic or private range 49152-65535 to minimize conflicts, avoiding well-known port from 0 to 1023 and registered ports 1024-49151. Start the registry editor. Type reg edit in the search box. Navigate to the following registry subkey. HKey local machine. System. Current control set. Control. Terminal server. Wind stations. RDP TCP. Find port number. Click edit. Modify, and then click decimal. Type the new port number, and then click OK. Close the registry editor. Setting firewall rules. Create an inbound port rule. Open the Windows firewall. In the navigation pane, select inbound rules. Select action, and then select new rule. On the rule type page of the new inbound rule wizard, Select Custom, and then select Next. On the Program page, select All Programs, and then select Next. On the Protocol and Ports page, select the protocol type that you want to allow. To restrict the rule to a specified port number, you must select either TCP or UDP. Because this is an incoming rule, you typically configure only the local port number if you select another protocol, then only packets whose protocol field in the IP header match this rule are permitted through the firewall. To select a protocol by its number, select specific ports from the list, and then type the number in the protocol number box. When you have configured the protocols and ports, select Next. On the scope page, you can specify that the rule applies only to network traffic to or from the IP addresses entered on this page. Configure as appropriate for your design, and then select Next. On the Action page, select Allow the connection, and then select Next. On the Profile page, select the network location types to which this rule applies, and then select Next. On the Name page, type a name and description for your rule, and then select Finish. Create an Outbound Port Rule. In the Navigation pane, select Outbound Rules. Select Action, and then select New Rule. On the Rule Type page of the new Outbound Rule Wizard, select Custom, and then select Next. On the Program page, select All Programs, and then select Next. On the Protocol and Ports page, select the protocol type that you want to allow. To allow the rule to a specified port number, you must select either TCP or UDP. Because this rule is an outbound rule, you typically configure only the remote port number if you select another protocol, then only packets whose protocol field in the IP header matches this rule are allowed by Windows Defender Firewall. Network traffic for protocols is blocked as long as other rules that match don't allow it. To select a protocol by its number, select specific ports from the list, and then type the number in the protocol number box. When you've configured the protocols and ports, select Next. On the scope page, you can specify that the rule applies only to network traffic to or from the IP addresses entered on this page. On the action page, select allow the connection, and then select next. On the profile page, select the network location types to which this rule applies, and then select next. On the name page, type a name and description for your rule, and then select finish. Restart your server. Connecting to server after setting custom port. Open remote desktop protocol application. Enter the IP address of your remote server in the computer field box followed by a colon then the port number then hit the enter key on your keyboard or click the connect button. For more helpful tips and articles, visit chartvps.com.
Don't miss out on our weekly videos, hit that subscribe button.